What's going on? What's happening, fellas? Let's get right into it. So today I'm about to give you guys some top level game. All right. This is high level game that every man needs to know. And today I'm going to talk about some dirty secrets about women that every man needs to be aware of. All right. This is really going to help you guys out in the dating market and relationships and just overall interacting and dealing with women. All right. Let's get right into it. So here's the main point, guys, before I get into it, and I will be brief about this. There are a lot of things that women are going to tell you that are going to be contrary or contradicting to what they actually mean or what they actually want. All right. I always say, man, and this is the dead honest truth. Women speak with their emotions most of the time. OK, most of the time. This is one of the reasons why I don't call women liars. All right. And if you a true G, if you're a real G, you really understand what I mean when I don't call women liars. Yes, women can lie sometimes. All right. But most of the time, women are not lying. They just tell you what is according to their emotions at the time. All right. So these things that I'm going to tell you guys today and help you guys out with, these are most likely things that you will never hear a woman say. All right. And because to be honest, women don't want to give you the game that easy, bro. They want you to figure it out as a man and lead. All right, but your brother KD is here to help you out. So y'all get your pens and pads out, put your thinking caps on, and let's get right into it, man. So the first secret that you need to know about women, guys, some of you guys probably already know this, but a woman does not want you to fix her problems. When a woman complains to you, all right, when a woman comes to you with her issues and her problems and her emotions. She does not want you to fix it, all right? She does not want a solution, all right? You guys gotta get this. I, I know as men, we are inclined. It is our natural innate reaction to wanna fix things when they're broken. When things are not going right, most men, 99.9% .9 of men look for solutions, all right? We look for solutions. If we are, let's say we lose a job, all right. It is very rare that a real man, real masculine man, it is very rare that he's going to go complaining to a bunch of people about how his boss unfairly fired him and all this stuff. The first thing a man is going to do is he going to go find another job. He may vent to a few people, but he going to go find another job because he wants a solution. All right. Men, we look for solutions. Most men want solutions out of problems. All right. But when it comes to women, guys, all right, when you're dealing with women and you're talking to women, women typically don't want solutions for the problems that they come to you for. What she actually wants is she just wants you to listen. This is the thing that guys don't understand. When your girl complaining to you and she whining and moaning about something, and then you give her a solution or some way to fix the problem and it still don't change anything and she's still frustrated and you sitting there tripping like, I just gave you the answer to the problem. How about you just go do it? Women don't think like this, guys, all right? I had to learn this the hard way, all right? Most of the stuff I tell you guys, like I said, I've been through it. I've been through a lot of different women, a lot of different relationships, so I, I know this, all right? I understand. Listen, women don't want you to fix their problems. They want you to be a listening ear and a lover. Okay. So now when women come to me and they complain about stuff, oh, I'm feeling like this. I don't like this at my job and blah, 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 blah. I just listen. I listen. I ask a few questions and I listen. If, let's say your girl coming to you complaining about the relationship. All right. You never listen to me. You never do this. You never do that. And then most men, what they would do is they would be like, well, how about I do this? Or what do you want me to do? And blah, 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 blah. Bro, don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Don't give her solutions. I have made this mistake many, many times. All right. Many, many times I've seen other guys make this, make this mistake. And like I said, guys, women don't want solutions. They just want you to listen to the problem. The next time your girl come to you complaining, whining, moaning about something, just sit there, listen to her, and ask her, what can I do to make you feel better right now? All 
all right? Now you, it's, it's over after that. Or if you already know your girl, just, just do something to make her feel better. But don't try to logically give her a, a, a solution to it because women don't really think logically like us. They're logical at, when they need to be, but not like men. All right, they're just not like men when it comes to this. All right, fellas, take notes, guys. So the next secret about women that all men need to know is that women do not want as much attention as a lot of guys think. All right, women don't want as much of attention as you may think she does. Okay, she just doesn't. Now, I know your girl may want to be around you all the time and she always want to spend time with you and she always want to be on your hip and under you and all in your neck, all up in here. You know, like, like, I don't know if y'all used to watch Martin, you know, she want to be all up in here, bro. She don't really want that. All right. And, and you probably like, well, that's what she telling me she wants. She acting like she want that. Like I laid off the video, women will tell you one thing, but really mean something else. The truth is women want to miss you guys. Okay. They want to miss you. They, they want to not be around you and be thinking about you all day, texting you and just missing you. OK, that is the truth of the matter. The desire that a woman has for you is sometimes based on how much she misses you. So if you spending all day around your girl, you see her every single day, all day, every time you got free time, you ain't doing no hobbies. You just spending time with her, watching Netflix, going on dates. That may be great and she is going to enjoy it, but she's going to get bored, guys. All right. And this is the thing a lot of dudes don't understand about women. Women don't think like us. All right. I know some of you guys would not mind and you probably would love being around your girl all day because she smell good. She look good. She's soft. You know, she's nice and timid. So you would love just holding her up all day. Women don't want that, guys. The relationships that I've seen that ended the worst were when women got bored, all right? And the reason why they got bored is because the man never gave her a chance to miss her, okay? Women don't want to be first priority in your life. You're going to argue with your girl one day and she's going to probably tell you, I want to come before everything in your life. Gee, that is a lie, fellas, all right? That is a lie. She does not want to come first. And a lot of women do this to test you just to see if you're going to put her first, like before your purpose or before your mission, all right? This is just what it is. This is real G game right here, all right, guys? And a lot of dudes be having all these problems with women, all right? And you guys think you just need to make yourself more attractive or whatever you think you need to do. Bro, you just need to learn women and how they operate, all right? Truth of the matter. It's like when you go buy a new car, all right? You go buy a new car, but if you don't know how it drives, you don't know where all the switches and the buttons at, you're going to wreck that car, G. I don't care how nice it is. I don't care how good you know how to drive. If you don't know how to operate that specific car, you're going to wreck it. You're not going to have a great driving experience. Just like women, G's. You got to understand women. Women do not want as much of attention as you think. I guarantee you, bro, the, the women who are most attracted to me and the women who desire me the most is the women that I gave space to. Okay, I gave them space. I hung around them a lot. You know, I, I gave them some attention, but I, I didn't just consume my day with texting them and being around them and all this stuff. Women like when they can just be by themselves in their feminine essence and just think about you and wonder what you're doing. Okay, like this is the God honest truth, guys. So stop trying to be around your girl all the time. This is a lot, of re a lot of the reason why women break up with a lot of men because they just get bored. And we all know women get bored 100 times faster than men. All right, guys? So your girl does not want to be first in your life. I don't care how many times she tell you. That is a lie. And she doesn't want as much of attention as you think. And the truth of the matter is she wants to miss you, G. Straight up. This is another secret about women that men need to know. Women want to be praised. Okay? Now, let me say something about this real quick. Because I know as soon as I said the word praise, you guys started being a simp, all right? Praising a woman in this way that I'm about to talk about is not being a simp, okay? Because this is what you guys need to understand. When men develop and when we get better, the best thing we can get to get better is criticism, all right? Whether it's constructive or not, or whether it's constructive or it's brutal. Men need criticism. Men need a challenge, 
All right. Men need a challenge. Like the best thing you can do for a man, if you want him to go, go to the gym, tell him he looks small or tell him he weak or tell him he fat. I guarantee you're going to motivate him to go to the gym if he's a real man. Now, if he's a punk, he's going to get all up in his feelings and start, why don't you call me fat? Da, da, da. Look, men need criticism. That's why your football coach yells at you. That's why, like, I was in the military. Like my, my sergeant, my chief, the more he yelled at me, the, the more I did push-ups, the, the tougher I got. All right. The, the, the meaner I got because it motivated me. That's how men operate. But with women, guys, you guys need to get this, man. Your brother KD is here to give you some top level game. Men, women need to be praised. All right. You need to not worship your woman like a simp, but praise her. Tell her how beautiful she is. Tell her how sexy she looks in those pants or that dress. Tell her how much you're attracted to her. Let me say something real quick. All this red pill stuff about you shouldn't compliment women and all this stuff. Gee, I guarantee you, bro, only lame dudes will tell you that because they don't really understand women. Because what probably happened is they probably was just going overboard. Because I'm going to give it to you straight up, bro. If you're a real G and you're a masculine man, you could compliment a woman 20 times a day and she won't lo lose respect for you or look at you as a simp. The only reason why women get turned off by guys complimenting them all the time and calling them beautiful every day is because you're probably a lame old bro and she knows you're a nice guy. But if you a dude like me, like I can compliment my girl 50 times a day and it won't change anything. It'll make it'll make the relationship better because she knows I'm not weak and she knows it's genuine and she knows I'm not trying to be a nice guy. All right. So the first thing about this, y'all always know I'm always going to say this. You need to be masculine. All right. You need to do it in a masculine way. But praise your woman. OK, praise your woman. Your boys want to be challenged. Like your boy say he going to do 50 push-ups and he only get 20 in and you call him a little punk. He going to get them other 30 in. G. He going to look at you like, what? Man, you got me. You know what I'm saying? But women ain't like that, bro. So I'm going to give you an example, a little quick example. Let's say you want your girl to lose 20 pounds. All right, let's say you want your girl to lose a little bit of weight because she's been slacking, eating Oreos and, and, uh, and Twinkies and stuff. All right. What you need to do is when she come home from the gym, let her know how sexy she look and her little her little gym tight she be wearing. All right. And be explicit about it. Let her know. Let her know, girl. Dang, you, you killing them pants right now. I'm thinking about taking you in the room right now. I guarantee you, bro. I guarantee you she's going to start working out more. That's motivation for women. Women want to be praised. I am honestly tired of these red pill dudes telling y'all not to compliment women. This is why y'all got to keep watching those videos because it's not working, G. All right. And this is not being a simp. This is not being a simp. One is called being a gentleman. Two is called being a real man. And three is called understanding female nature. Now, let me tell you this. This won't work for a thought. All right. You talking to a little thought, a little hot girl. This ain't going to work. All right, because they, they mentally messed up. Um, this works for real women. And this is only women I'm telling you guys to get with is real high quality women. A high quality woman, if you don't compliment her enough, it ain't going to work, G. I'm just letting you know. And you don't have to do it in the simplest nice guy way. Do it mask. Bro, I guarantee you, bro, it 100% works. I have never had a woman lose respect for me or attraction for me and or leave me from me complimenting her too much. All right. Any chick I deal with, I compliment them about five to six times a day. You heard me? And it just makes it better. It makes them more attractive to me because, like I said, they know I'm not weak. They know I'm not a simp. They know I'm not a nice guy. All right? They, I'm, I'm not the one to be played with. I'm a real G. So when I compliment them, they know it's real. And they know I'm not trying to be nice. They know I actually mean it. So there's respect that comes from it. All right, guys? So you guys need to understand how to praise women. All right? I posted a quote on my Instagram today. And I said, the biggest problem that a lot of guys have with dating is they haven't uh, honed in their masculinity. That's why when you compliment women, it don't work because you're not masculine. You're not doing it in a masculine way. She knows you're not masculine. She knows you some beta and you just trying to be nice to get her in the bed. All right, geez, you got to understand this. So number one, Get honing on your masculinity, whether you got to hang around more masculine men, whether you got to watch videos, whatever you got to do, hit the gym, whatever. 
all right? And then understand how to praise women. All right, this is a real dirty one, all right? A real dirty one, all right? One of the dirty secrets about women that men need to understand is in the bedroom, G, and I'm gonna be quick with this one, all right? In the bedroom, you need to treat her like a slut, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep it honest. I'm gonna be explicit with you right now. You need to treat your girl like a slut, all right? You, you guys need to stop being, I don't know what y'all be doing in the bedroom, all right? But I've talked to enough women, and I, I kind of got an idea how most guys are in the bedroom, G. You need to treat her like a slut, all right? You, you need to stop holding back, and you need to ravish your girl, all right? Like, y'all know if y'all know what ravish mean. Go look it up, G. Pause this video and go look it up and come back, and we're going to keep talking. But you need to ravish your girl. You need to treat your girl, and I'm not talking about treating her bad, but you, you need to handle her in the bedroom, G. Stop being passive. I know she's small. I know she's soft. I know she's delicate, but she likes it, G. That's what you got to understand. I saw this quote the other day on social media. It said, the rougher you are with your girl in the bedroom, the better she going to treat you. And that, well, I, bro, that, I'm a, I am a proponent of that. I'm a living witness that that is true. All right. So I, like I said, I'm not going to take too much time on this one because y'all get the point. If I got to explain this anymore, then... We need to have a one-on-one, -on -one, G. <laughs> all right? I'm just letting y'all know, all right? Let's move on to the next one. There's another one that a lot of guys are confused about is a lot of men don't understand this dirty secret about women, that women love drama, all right? And I, I look, I know, guys, I know. Sometimes it's exhausting. Sometimes it's frustrating. You're like, why is she always tripping? She always complain. Look, this is the truth of the matter, all right, guys? This is female nature, all right? Most women... Most women, 99% of women, probably all women, have grew up watching romances. They grew up watching Disney. They grew up watching Lifetime or whatever they watch, all right? A woman's idea of life is a roller coaster, all right? Especially her love life. It's a roller coaster. And I'm going to be specific in a minute. A man's idea of life is straight up. That's how we think, or just flatline. That is how men think. We like, bro, if I can just go three days without no drama or no conflict, I'm going to be good. A woman is not like this, okay? This is why women pick arguments, because you're boring, okay? Women want an emotional roller coaster. If you want to complain about this, stop dealing with women, G, because this is 99.9% .9 of women. There are some women that won't want, that won't want as much drama as others. But every single woman wants an emotional roller coaster. I'm not talking about turmoil. I'm not talking about negativity. I'm talking about an emotional roller coaster. This is why women watch these movies. This is why when you watch those emotional romance movies, you kind of get annoyed by it. You're like, why are they crying? Why, wh what is going on, bro? I want to watch some action. All right? Women are different. Women want an emotional roller coaster. So when you're like, have this like, this even mood all the time, like you always treating her nice. Ain't nothing wrong with being nice to a woman. I'm a big proponent of being nice to and kind to a woman. But if you're always the same, you got this routine. Good morning, beautiful. Good afternoon, beautiful. How was your day, beautiful? It ain't going to work, G. She's going to get bored. Like I said, this is how women work. This is why you guys have so much trouble with women. All right. I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The reason why I'm good at this. All right. The reason why I can keep women around because I had two uncles growing up, G, and they were stone cold players, G, stone cold players. I'm talking about. And one of my uncles used to cut my hair every Saturday. My mom used to bring me over to his house every Saturday and he used to cut my hair and every he used to cut my hair in the bathroom. Y'all know in the hood, they cut your hair in the bathroom. They put you on a little chair. You know what I mean? He used to cut my hair in the bathroom. And bro, every time, every Saturday I went in the bathroom, there was, he had a new chick. She used to, she used to be sitting on the, on the toilet top, you know, watching him cut hair or whatever. Every single time, G. And I, so I used to watch my uncles deal with women and I, they used to keep women around. They had a lot of women and I, I learned a lot from them. This is why I understand this. This is why you need brotherhood. This is why you need real G's around you and you need to stop listening to this red pill stuff because it don't work. All right. Women want drama. So like sometimes, bro, I'm going to be honest with you. Sometimes you got to ignore your girl, like ignore her. I'm not talking about disrespect her, but just ignore her. You know, give, give us something like make her mad sometimes. It's not a bad thing. 
All right, you you guys, you guys, oh, bro, it, it drives me crazy because this stuff is easy. Make her mad sometimes. Ignore her sometimes. Like, not, not every day, not every week, but every now and then. Just ignore her. She calling your phone, just don't pick up. Make, make her mad like, I wonder why he not picking up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And you just pop up at the house. She like, where you been? Where you been? You ain't been picking up the phone. You grab, you know, like the girl, what you tripping for? You know, come here. You know? And I... <laughs> Jesus, bro. I'm this stuff is easy, G. It is easy, bro. All right. So if you're not giving your woman kind of an emotional roller coaster, bro, and I know some of you guys probably like, oh my God, why do I got to do all that? Why do I got to do all that? Bro, cause... <sighs> hmm. bro, you got to understand, bro. You talking about you want a good woman. You want a woman to stay with you. It ain't easy. Ain't nothing in life easy. I mean, when you learn the game, it gets easier. But a lot of you guys want the best results with no effort and no self-development. This is part of self-development. Women are a big facet of life as a top-tier man. This is part of self-development. When you get a job, you don't complain to your boss telling him, oh, my God, I got to learn how to type this. I got to learn how to work this. I got to learn this system. I got to learn this CRM. No, you just learn it because you know you're going to get paid from it. You know there's a benefit from it. Just like women. Learn women. Understand women. And there's a big benefit from it, a great benefit from it. But you got to learn it, fellas. All right. That's why your brother KD is here, man, to game you guys up. So women love drama. Now, it's going to be a few women that's going to watch this because I already know 10 to 15 percent of my subscribers are women. And I guarantee you there's going to be at least one woman that's going to hop on here and say that's not true. Fellas, like I said, women don't tell the truth when it comes to stuff like this. All right. They don't. But when it when it, when it hits the fan and it's time for the stuff to go down, it always comes true. All right. So for all you ladies who are thinking about hopping in the comments, don't even try it. Don't even try it. You, you're wasting your time. I'm probably not even going to read the comments. All right. This is the last one. And this is a harsh truth, a dirty secret about women that men need to know. And this is a harsh truth. All right. Women will do anything and everything for a guy who she truly desires and she sees as an alpha male. All right. If you guys been watching my videos and my content, you know, I don't use the word alpha and beta a lot. I use it sometimes to distinguish some differences between men, but I'm not one of these guys that hop on every video. I'm an alpha male. I'm an alpha male. I don't think a true alpha male would even say he's an alpha male. He let other people tell him that. All right. Because if you're a true alpha male, you don't you don't say it because you don't even know. It's just you. You know what I'm saying? It's just you. But. If a woman really desires you, she has a burning desire for you, and she sees you as an alpha compared to other men, she will do anything and everything for you. Sexually, physically, emotionally, she will do anything and everything. When she gets in your frame, she will do anything and everything. So this is a tip. If she's not, if she's holding, like I'll give an example. Let's say sex, for example. And you want to do a certain position or you want to experiment and do different things. If she's objecting to that, she doesn't have true burning desire for you. She don't really want you like that. She may want you, but not like that, G, because I would tell you this from self-experience. I've been with the most modest, not every chick. I've dabbled in some hoes <laughs> sometimes, but I've been with the most, some of the most modest chicks. I'm talking about like. Like, they might as well have been a virgin when I met them. But when they got into my frame, all that went away and it opened up. And they was down for anything. All right? This is the true nature. All right? So, if your girl, gee, if your girl, the chick you're dealing with, if she's not with a, a lot of things, if she's not getting in your frame, all right? If you say, hey, I want to go to this place, and she's like, oh, I don't want to go to that place. Why can't we go somewhere else? She don't really want you like that, bro. Because a woman who really wants you... Anything you want to do, any way, any place you want to go, she tagging along. She's like, oh, let's go. I guarantee you, G, I've been with women who love me so much and has such a much of a burning desire for me. I, I told y'all this story before. I'd be like, I want to go to the corner store. She'd be like, I'm coming. I'm like, it's not going to be fun. I just want to be with you. I'm coming. She heard it put on her shoes. I'm like, all right. You know, I've had women want to go with me places and do things with me when they know 100% it was going to be boring as hell, but they still wanted to go just to be with me. All right. Like I told y'all before, I had some of the most, I've been with some of the most modest chicks, but when it come down to relate sexual relations, they was down for anything. 
down for anything I wanted to do. No objection at all. Not, not even a blink of an eye about it. All right. So you got to understand this. So this is how you can depict whether or not a woman really has true burning desire for you. When you get, when you come up with a suggestion to do something, especially sexually, and she just 100% down for it. She's like, shit, let's go. Let's do it. As long as it's with you, let's do it. All right. Truth of the matter. All right, guys. So these were a few dirty secrets about women that all men should know. All right. Like I said, don't try to go ask your girl about this, G. She's not going to tell you the truth, bro. She's not going to tell you. Women won't admit these things, guys. They just won't. It's not in their nature to. It's in their nature to let you as the man figure this stuff out. This is why the dating market is competitive. Because only the real G's who understand this are truly successful consistently with women. All right? That is the lesson for today. I hope you guys took notes. You can take your thinking caps off. By the way, I've had a few guys ask me about my fragrances, my colognes. So I want to show you guys the different size bottles. Uh, this is the two ounce bottle of the top tier Charisma. All right. Gold bottle. As you can see, great scent. Uh, this is a brand new bottle, so I'm not going to open it. Here's another size. This is the one ounce bottle. All right, same thing, top tier, charisma, gold bottle. All right, you can DM me on Instagram to get your, get your bottle. All right, I'm excited about this because I've been getting a lot of orders and nothing but positive feedback, you know what I'm saying? Um, another thing, small bottle, all right, half ounce bottle. Y'all can go grab that as well, all right? So if you want to, um, you know, see about shipping costs and everything, just hit me up on, on Instagram, shoot me a DM, and I'm going to get that out to you, all right? Uh, it's your boy KD. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you haven't liked the video, please like the video. Thanks for tuning in. We out of here, baby.